hey, congratulations, everyone, for uh, bringing you. your film Gumbel Collection to here. Coalition. To Coalition. Yeah. Coalition. See, I should put on glasses or something. Like that. <laughs> okay. Gumbel, Gumbel Co Coalition oh, yeah. here. So how, how does it feel for bringing it here to Santa Barbara? So we're excited. Uh, this is uh, an iconic film fest, so we're honored to be part of the Santa Barbara International Film Fest. And uh, uh, this, the Gumbo Coalition tells a story that's not been told in any other documentary. Oh. And it's a story of how uh, we, as the National Urban League, an African-American focused civil rights organization in my leadership, work in conjunction with Janet Merguia and Unido Shues, the nation's largest Latino civil rights organization. And it chronicles our work in favor of racial justice, uh, in favor of democracy and voting, in favor of immigration rights, in favor of uh, uh, criminal justice reform. Uh, and it's meant to inspire the next generation of leaders and people about the necessity of coalition building and working together. So we're excited about it. I'm excited to work with this incredibly dynamic team led by Barbara Koppel, an Academy Award winning documentarian, and our executive producing team, uh, Nina Easton and Patty Sellers. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, too, the film is very intimate. Mm -hmm. It really looks at the families and who they are and how much Mark learned from his family to be able to do what he had to do and how much Janet, who was one of nine people living in a one-room um, apartment with one bathroom and how they became so eminent in their field as far as being lawyers and judges and she is head of UNIDOS which is the largest Latin American film, um, I mean, uh, civil, rights. civil rights organization, yes. So Janet, Janet is the daughter of Mexican immigrants, grew up in Kansas City, um, had to face a college roommate who wouldn't live with her because yeah. she was Mexican. So you combine that with what Mark went through in segregated New Orleans, mm -hmm. couldn't go to the bathrooms because they were, you know, uh, segregated at, at the Sears Shopping Center when he was there. Um, and he's this, his parents are great civil rights leaders. So the two of them combined forces to really um, make progress in this very tumultuous past five years, which is, as we all know, there's been a backlash against diversity. And um, they've been there, like manning the, manning the, uh, manning and womaning. Manning and womaning, You know, so many um, quote unquote civil rights documentaries have been about like Martin Luther King and figures of the past. This is really one of the few films that looks at modern day civil rights leaders and from a completely fresh and unique point of view, which is we are living in times of great polarization and division in America, and if there is ever a time for different races and ethnicities to come together in the common quest to bring progress in America. So this is a story about the black and brown communities coming together for a higher purpose of advancing democracy in America. No one else has done this. And we are just absolutely thrilled and honored to be working with a two-time two Academy Award winning documentary filmmaker to tell this story. Most excellent. Well, hey, congratulations for Gumbel Coalition. And um, hey, enjoy. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be touched by this documentary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.